Okay, so first of all, I'm going to click in this cell here and then go to layout and then select formula. And you'll see that it automatically gives me the formula sum above and then there are some number formats that I can choose from. So I'm going to select the currency format and OK. And now it has added these three numbers together to get me £15. If you want to do the same calculation again in a different cell, you can use the keyboard shortcut F4. And F4 is the keyboard shortcut to repeat whatever you previously did. Now if I click in this cell here and go back to formula, you'll see that it's smart enough to work out that I now want some left and OK. In addition to above and left, you can also use below and right. And then instead of using words, you can also use cell references. So the cell references work the same way they do in Excel. You just can't see them. So the columns are labeled A, B, C, etc. And then the rows are numbered 1, 2, 3, etc. So this is column A and this is column B. And then we have rows 1, 2, 3. So this cell here is B3. And I can type in the cell references B3 colon C3 and OK. And now it is summing these two numbers here to get me 11. Then in addition to the sum formula, there are also other formulas which you can choose. And so for example, I will use the product formula, which multiplies numbers together. And I'll type in the word above and OK. And now it is multiplying 10 and 11 to get me the number 110. If you want to update the numbers, you need to right click and select update field. And if you want to update all of the numbers in the table, then you need to press Control A on the keyboard to select all of the table and then use the keyboard shortcut F9 to update everything. There is also the keyboard shortcut Alt F9, which will show you all of the formulas. And pressing Alt F9 again will change it back to the numbers. You can also right click on a number and select toggle field codes and that will show you the formula for just that number. Then if you want to edit a formula, you need to right click and select edit field and then select formula and it will take you back to this window where you can make changes. You can also press Alt F9 to show you the formulas and then edit the formulas here as well. And then press Alt F9 to get you back to the numbers. Now you'll see that this number hasn't changed yet. I need to press F9 to get it to update. Then there's also the keyboard shortcut Control F9, which will insert the curly brackets for you. Then you can type in whatever formula you like. And now I need to press Alt F9 twice in order to get back to the numbers. And at the moment this cell is blank, I have to press F9 in order to get it to update and show me the number. Then I can also add in a new row here and type in the number 1 and then select this and press F9 to get it to update and you'll see it's added the number 1 to it. And this works because the formula is just sum above so you can add in rows and it will still include the new numbers. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use formulas inside tables in Microsoft Word, and that is everything.